Thank you, Chairman Tonko. I'm sure you're aware, having been at the caucus this morning, that uh, I'm surprised by people even mentioning my birthday, and particularly the, the 7-0, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I wanted to uh, start out by just saying that we're obviously continuing our work to ensure the legacy of my senator and, and, and mentor, Frank Lautenberg, um, who was the uh, you know, who the, the Tosca bill is named after. And I, of course, want to make sure, make sure that we live up to, to Senator Lautenberg's commitment to protecting Americans from chemical exposure, particularly children, but also pregnant women, workers, environmental justice communities. And this committee worked in a strong bipartisan fashion. Of, I know mention was made of Congressman Shimkus, who was so much involved, to finally get this landmark legislation signed into law in 2000. 16 by then President Obama, and it updated and modernized the Toxic Substances Control Act, otherwise known as TSCA, for the first time in 40 years. And of course, let me uh, mention uh, your outstanding work, um, Congressman Tonko, in, in trying to get this over the line. You really were taking the lead on it. Unfortunately, the Trump administration's implementation of this law was tainted by secrecy and undue political influence. The Trump administration's actions undermined our efforts of creating a strong federal chemical regulatory system. One of the key goals of the Lautenberg Act was to finally give the EPA the tools it needed to address the threats of harmful chemicals like asbestos, tools that the agency did not have under the original Tosca law. 32 years ago, EPA finalized rule banning asbestos, but the rule was struck down in court two years later. The original Tosca simply did not give EPA the tools it needed to address the risk, even though we had known the dangers of asbestos for decades. And as a result, asbestos is still being used in automotive parts and chemical manufacturing and construction materials all across the country. And the continued use of asbestos poses a continuing threat to human health and the environment. So while the Lautenberg Act finally gave EPA the tools it needed to address asbestos and other harmful chemicals, it quickly became clear that the Trump EPA would not take the needed actions. In fact, the Trump EPA's asbestos risk evaluation was panned by the Science Advisory Committee on Chemicals and Challenged in Court. But fortunately, with the new Biden administration, the EPA is under new leadership. The agency recently reached a settlement to resolve the deficiencies in its asbestos work and is now on a path to properly address legacy exposures. I'm pleased to say that EPA appears to be moving to address risks from many dangerous chemicals. The strong, credible federal regulatory regime we hope for with the Lautenberg Act seems to be in sight. The EPA's Tosca office also played a critical role in solving the rampant PFAS contamination problem affecting the nation. I was relieved to see the comprehensive testing and reporting requirements included in the Biden administration's PFAS roadmap issued by the agency earlier this month. And the roadmap includes critical pieces of the PFAS action plan that has passed the House twice on a bipartisan basis thanks to the tireless work of Representatives Dingell and the steadfast support of Representative Upton. Thankfully, the Biden EPA under the Administrator Reagan, Michael Reagan, has committed the agency to scientific integrity and its critical mission to protect the public health and the environment. The agency is conducting a second look at the flawed risk evaluations of the Trump administration, implementing TSCA as intended, and addressing the disproportionate risks for environmental justice communities. And I'm very hopeful that under the Biden administration, the TSCA office can operate free of political interference and make decisions based on science that will benefit public health. So this is an important oversight hearing, uh, Mr. Chairman. I thank you uh, for this TSCA program and the bipartisan law that so many of us on this committee work to get across the finish line. As a friend of the late Senator Lautenberg and his family, it's important to me that his environmental legacy be honored in the implementation of the critical reforms that are made in his name. And so I want to thank the Assistant Administrator for testifying today and look forward to the hearing on how the EPA is working to get TSCA back on track. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.